All right, hey guys. So uh, this doesn't need to be here anymore. Um, just a wa cup of water. Uh, I'm gonna feed everybody else. Got fed. These guys all got fed. Um, I wanted to feed the girls and let you guys see the kind of appetites that are ramping up during the uh, breeding season here, ovulating, etc. So she's in her egg box. She's not laying or anything. She's just, she likes to hang out in it because it's humid. Oh, <laughs> here she comes. I like to pull her out of the eco earth. And once I know she's got a good grip, I'll just close it up. And she'll eat that just fine. Let's see, this girl's behind the tub. I don't think she usually doesn't take off the tongs for me. But we'll see if she will. She's usually pretty... Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I usually like to make it struggle a little bit, you know, so it simulates live prey. Keep their interest. This girl I don't have to do anything with. She'll eat. No problem. She's a beast. Come on. Nom, nom, nom. Om nom. That's just Eco Earth. I literally cleaned her yesterday. <laughs> and she got Eco Earth all over the place. I don't have mites or anything. It's Eco Earth. It's Eco Earth from the lay boxes. You guys know that. Same thing here. I cleaned everybody yesterday. Alright, let's give her a big one because she's a monster. You gonna come out? Oh. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha. Nom 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 nom. She'll probably actually get two, um, because she's so big. I like to give her two. I'm also hoping to get a good clutch out of her. Either that or I'll give her this girl right here, too, because she's usually pretty, uh, ravenous. What are you doing? Besides bunching up your paper towels. Good job. <laughs> here, let's give you a decent-sized one. Sorry, it's kind of shadowy. My light is behind me, and I can't really position myself in a different way as to not block the light. So there you go. I know it's kind of a short video, but that's all the girls eating. <laughs> um, actually, I don't know. You're always hungry, too. Is this too big for you? Eh, no, I don't think so. I'm going to give her this one. I think she'll take it. Plus, I want to get some size on her. I want her ready for next season so I can make toffee condas. Yeah, she'll take that, no problem. So, that's my female toffee that I had considered selling, and then I'm glad I didn't. So, she's actually quickly becoming one of my favorites. But, anyway, that's it for now. Um, like I said, everybody else ate. The video would be too long if I showed you everybody else eating, so I just wanted to show the females. They're the primary focus right now anyway because of, uh, you know, primary focus for videos because it's, it's going to be egg time soon. Um, incubator's holding a solid 78, so that's good. I set it to 77 and it's going, uh, one degree over, so... Anywhere between 76 and 90 is fine for these guys, for their eggs. So, oh yeah. Maybe I'll start feeding her small adult mice. She'll amp up on so in size. But that's it for now. I'm going to go back to spinning some vinyl. That's what I was doing. I uh, just got, literally just arrived earlier today. Uh, real big fish. Candy coated fury. And it's a red... They're both, there's two discs, two, two records, and they're both translucent red, so it's still playing, I just turned off the system because I don't want to get copyright nailed for playing music, but anyway, that's what I'm going to do. Oh.